solution. My mouth, well, I can't tell you what it tastes like. And what happens is people are paying to live in cities all over the world. They're paying to go up buildings like this. I know people in the world would scream if I was to put them onto grass. If they were to walk across the field, they wouldn't know what to do. That's the world we've created. After all, pick one of the poorer countries of the world and get rid of its poverty forever. Quite a money spent on this mad metropolis of a building. of sewerage is also incredible. I, I can't explain to you how it smells here, how the air tastes here, and within the stone throw, homes go up to one or two million euros for a big home, a big apartment, or two or three hundred thousand euros for just enough space for two people to live in. Is this really the world we've created? The air is unfit to breathe. The beautiful mosques around here are calling people in to pray. I pray every day for the countries around the world to live in peace, for us to go back to enjoying nature, growing our food, and being with people who love us rather than people that don't. Give us freedom to love. Give us freedom to stop consuming. And give us the freedom in which to allow our planet to regain the air into its lungs. Simply before it's too late. Mosque of Malaysia. Next door to the tallest building in Malaysia. Yeah, one thing but we're missing this Tuesday afternoon at about half past four. One thing that's missing from here is, believe it or not, Look into the sky. Bye. The thing that's missing is humans. Humans have built the mosque. They built the tallest building almost in the world. And yet they're parked in the traffic jams below and the shopping centers that fill this city. Kuala Lumpur. 